you know, you know, when they bring all these people into these, um, like these places and they all look at him, look to him as like a guru and he talks in all these rhymes and riddles. That's what he sounded like. You know, I'm like, wait a minute, what did he say? And then of course, Forrest Gump is sitting next to him. She has no idea. And it went right over her head. But, you know, and then at the end, Joe goes, thank you, because, you know, some of the things came out. But what he said, I have no idea. I have no idea. You know, wh- whatever. Okay, here's the thing. I think I get what Joe Gorg was saying. He's like, we don't talk like this in Jersey. It's like, bada bing, bada boom. I get it. I am. I do not want to talk about my feelings. I do not want you to touch right. me. I am a cold, right. heartless human being. <laughs> so I enjoy no, my I'm life, about, but I like, don't touch me. I'm talking about when Luis, but yeah. when Luis was saying, I was like, Joe was like, what is he talking about? I felt the same way. You know, like, what is he... He didn't make any sense. He he didn't have a beginning or an end to, you know, what he was trying to say. It was all jumbled up. But, but anyway, I, you know, I agree with Joe. I'm not really looking to air my dirty shit and not for nothing. I don't really have those issues. I don't really have them. I don't have those kind of issues. Well, that's why I don't go to therapy anymore, even though Talkspace therapy has helped me immensely. Shout out to my sponsor, Talkspace. But, Very nice. I mean, unpaid. This just happened, guys. But Here's the thing, like, I get it, and I don't want to talk about my feelings either, but isn't it nice, like, you know, we don't have to agree, Kim, but like, isn't it nice that, listen, I think Teresa had this man that showed no affection. I mean, he's he's out in the wine where he's saying my bitch wife is fucking, you know, yep. and using yep. the C-U-N-T yep. word. So I just think, like, isn't it nice whether, you know, as you call her Forrest Gump, like Teresa may not understand everything he's saying, but isn't it nice that this man is warm and, and wants to express this? I mean, I, there's a lot of women and men that are probably listening now that would love someone to express their feelings and let's talk. And I mean, isn't that probably why Teresa fell in love with him? I think what she, <laughs> yes. But I think part of the, the, um, the attraction was green. <laughs> so green and red. It's Christmas morning here. Red for the hearts. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying that's all that's to it, but, you know, not for nothing. I'm going to say, remember we talked about Jackie and her posture? Well, I'm going to shout out to Luis Rolajas. You need to find out why your face is burgundy, not red. He looks like he's going to have a freaking stroke. That's weird. That looks like high blood pressure to me. It doesn't even look like a sunburn. I'm nervous for this man. He really, his, his face is, br- I was like, what? It's bright red. You know, listen, maybe she he's does- embarrassed in front of all these people and he's no, talking. it's no, it's all his pictures, all his pictures. Everything is it's bur- his face is almost burgundy. All my friends, including my friend, Louie, like, well, call me. They go, what is wrong with him? And that's a sign of high bl- blood pressure. Oh my God. All right, so we, we're worried about Luis because he has a red face, but isn't it somewhat nice? And like he wants to express it. Even Melissa said she's like, "We don't do this. No, we're not like an yeah, over." No, I thought family. it was very nice. I thought it was very nice. That part was very nice. Um, yeah, no, I thought it was nice, and, and I thought you know it was, you, a, you it was a good thing. And you could see after Joe Judice why Teresa. Like, this is the opposite. Someone that talks and expresses. I mean, Joe would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go, 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 go in the kitchen and get your, That's get right. your wine. Like, Joe Judice didn't want to have two words. It's like, so this is really the opposite as far as an emotional person, right? I agree. No, I agree. I like that. You I know, mean, would I, well, I was going to say, the, the whole of- new agey thing to me, it's not my thing. I don't enjoy that type of experience, but- I no. think it is, there's a lot of people like that in the world that come at me and I'm like, you can't, I mean, that's sweet. Like you're a sweet human that's trying to just, you know, like the, the intention. Spread, spread the love, spread the yeah. love. But you know what? He's got his, he's got his work cut out for him with Teresa because Teresa can talk all the love and light shit she's talking about. She don't have anything inside. Sorry, guys. I know some of your listeners are tree huggers and that's cool, but I know her. And it's, he's got his work cut out for a Mr. Luis Larajas. He's got his work cut out for him because she ain't got nothing down there, honey. She ain't nothing. See that heart behind me? Uh-uh. No. What do you mean? No friends. She, she no doesn't friends. have what it takes. She has no friends. What friends does she have? Well, her friends. Every friend she ever had, she tosses away like a stale crust of bread. She has no real friends. 
Speaking of friends, hold on. Let's go off topic for a minute. Inside scoop. Inside scoop. Dolores, you know I love you. I'm shocked. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I kind of do. How about the fact that Margaret Josephs, Jackie Schneider, the husbands, her ex-husband, her daughter, and her son were all at David's house for Super Bowl. Well, also, let's say Dolores is out of the country. She's with her new man. I don't care. I don't care where she was. I just think me, I could be wrong. I think it's a little odd that all her friends and family are over at her ex's house. That's me. I'm old fashioned. That's me. Not even her ex-husband, her ex-ex. So I don't know. I think something's a little weird with these freaking things keep popping. Something's a little weird, you know, with the friendships. I don't know. I don't know. Could be a little weird. In who, so I mean, so right. So I knew it was Margaret, Jackie, Margaret and Jackie were there for Super Bowl at David's house. Frank Catania and, and Frankie Jr. and Gabby were there too. Correct. Anyone else from the, uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Benigno, Margaret, yeah. Joe and Evan. So they all went there. And Evan. Listen, we all know David's house. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's not a not nice house, but in there's huge houses in New, like, what's the attraction to David's house? It's not like going to like, the Play, like the Playboy Mansion or like you live in like, it's not like going to Heather Dubrow, Chateau Dubrow and you're Gina Kirschenheider. Like what's, I don't, what's so special about David's house? I mean, I've, is that the house I've been in? Is that the house that Dolores films? I don't know. I'm so confused. That's the house Dolores. That's the house that I. Then that's the house I've been in. It's nice and the yeah. no shade, but it's not like Chateau du Bro. Right. Well, I'm just saying. When I heard this, I was like, "What?" You know. But I'm just shouting it out. Like, listen, I'm not judging. I'm just shouting it out, saying I just feel it's a little strange, and I want to get to the bottom of it. So I might have information next week, guys, because you know. You never know. I'm going to check in. It's just, you know why? Because I'm nosy. Listen. Because we're doing we a show you. and I want to bring it. We're doing a show that I committed to. So um, when I bring you the news, I'm going to get the scoop and I'm going to let you know or else I wouldn't committed to this. Okay. I wouldn't have committed. So I'm all in for you guys. Well, Dolores calls you and you call her. So get, yeah, yes. please get her. I'm going to get the scoop. I mean, that's directly from the horse's mouth. Not that I'm calling Dolores a horse, because guess what? Here's the thing. Like, uh, being a lawyer and everything, people that are, like, in my vicinity, like, if you have a gun, I'm scared. If you come at me with a gun, I'm fucking scared. Short of that, I have have balls of steel. I just, I am not afraid of anyone. I am, I I will look you in the face. I do not, don't come at me, because I I am not afraid of you. However- There are a few people that at moments, I mean, Dolores is kind of on that list of people that, you know, I personally I don't want to get into. She it. was like, right. She was I'm right not putting Jackie's Dolores's face. name in my mouth because Dolores kind of scares me a little bit and nobody fucking scares me. Yeah. Well, listen, she went right in Jackie's face. I mean, she was right here, right here next to her face. So I told you she's she's capable of that. So I was happy to see that um, that side. You know, people want to see that side of her. So I was really happy that she did that. I was laughing, but Jackie didn't back down. I was, I was like, wow, you know, Jackie didn't back down. Of course, everyone start pulling Dolores off of her or whatever. But um, it was an interesting scene. Um, first of all, I think you can be friends with two people. She says, I'm friends with Jennifer and I'm friends with Margaret. And again, you know, 